hello guys welcome back to the channel and in this video we are going to talk about uh, AWS Lambda versions and aliases so in the previous videos we've discussed about Lambda what it is how you can use Lambda how can you can create your function so in this video I'm going to show you what versions are how are they useful and what are aliases okay let's continue then so in the previous videos i've created a lambda function so i'll be using that only so let's go to lambda so this was the function my first function let's go into it and on the top here you can see qualifiers and in the qualifiers there are two section versions and lambda so for version you can see since i don't have any other version by default it's dollar latest and aliases will it's unqualified but we'll talk about that later so this is my function this was my function hello from prod if you remember and so what are versions basically so let's discuss about that before i create the first version so if you have used git ever in your life so you must be knowing about git commits right so you make some changes to your code and you create a commit consider versions as git commit and this latest the default version you can consider this as your staging area in the git so this is the best analogy basically i read it somewhere so i thought i should let you guys know so let's go and create our first version publish a new version <coughs> let's give it a description so let's say prod code okay very creative publish so now if you go and see so you can see the number seven because i did create few versions earlier so it will go in the numerical order one two three four five six seven like that so since i created already created six versions just to try out a few things so the next version i'm creating it's numbered at seven all right so now we have created a uh, a version of our function and one thing you should know that you cannot edit uh, the version which you have created you can only edit the latest which is which is there available for you so if you go to latest you can see I can edit this say from sandbox and save it right so my latest is updated but if i go to my latest version which was the version which i created you can see i cannot edit it i cannot do anything over here because this is fixed all right so how are they useful so this is basically to bifurcate so do a bifurcation of different environment basically so suppose you have a dev a prod and staging uh, environments and you suppose you want to promote a lambda function from dev to prod so there you can have version and for that uh, where the aliases come in so i'll show you how you can do it uh, with aliases cool so let's go to versions let's go to latest so this is since we have sandbox let's save it and let's create another version Publish a new version we call it sandbox version and publish it so now i have two versions this is my latest and i have two other versions uh, version 8 and version 7 so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to create an alias it's very simple just go and create an alias name it so i'll name it prod so this will be my prod alias <coughs> correct and for description is optional so i am not going to do that and i'm going to select a version so since my version 7 was the prod so i'm going to create it uh, i'm going to mark so this basically alias is going to point so what are aliases basically before creating let me tell you what are aliases aliases are pointers and what aliases give you like suppose you have an application which is using your lambda function so your application could point to this alias because this alias has a different ARN so 
it, it it's a different ARN which will be pointing to your uh, uh, version of the function which you want to use so suppose if you want to promote a dev version to a prod uh, version so in alias what you can do is you can just go and edit an alias and just change the version from say from 7 to 8 because all these things the versions uh, suppose if you're creating different versions different aliases they all have different ARNs which is Amazon resource name so that gives you the benefit basically of uh, pointing of basically moving from one environment to another without any I mean that like you can consider it without any downtime basically it's like a blue green sort of a thing right and you can see uh, alias give uh, alias give you another functionality which is to basically canary test your two functions so suppose my other function is the sandbox one right the version 8 if i select this and i give it a percentage of weight basically so suppose i want my 10 percent of traffic to go to my 8 uh, 8 uh, version of my lambda function eight of my lambda function which is suppose I'm just doing some testing I don't want my complete traffic to go on to my version 8 I just want a small amount of traffic to go so that I have enough testing uh, data and once I'm confident that yes this function is working fine I can just go and edit and make it 100% basic so this is uh, what uh, uh, you can do with aliases but for now I'm not going to do it and I'm going to create an alias so now if you go to basically functions go to qualifiers so you can see you have an alias a prod alias which is pointing to version 7 now like i told you if you want to say your version 8 is your now the new prod uh, uh, lambda function you just need to go select the version and save this is as simple as this I mean I've just used my version 8 to be my production lambda function so I've promoted my version 8 to my production so this is what aliases uh, provide you the functionality of so they are editable basically versions they are not editable you cannot edit versions once you've created the only version you can edit is the latest one so this is like the staging area of uh, git basically and all the versions you create are the commits git commits so this is it for version and aliases i hope i made it clear if you have any questions just post it down into the comments and let me know if you face any issues with versions and aliases uh, let's continue our course and move on to the next video thank you guys